Before I started making this film, I knew nothing about Bobby Kennedy. A privileged guy with 10 kids who became a hero to black and Hispanic communities and promised to heal a divided America. Then a year before I was born, he was assassinated. This is the story of Kennedy and his assassin. The official story, the evidence against, and the others who may have been involved. He hated all communists, you know. He what you call 100% American all the way through. You don't mess with him and go, he'll blow your ass apart. And I said, what happened? They said, we shot him, we shot him. I said, you shot who? And they said, the senator. She was tired too. She wanted coffee just as much as I did. Mm-hmm. All right, did she tell you her name? Do you remember asking her? What did you call her? Girl? I don't know, sir. Coffee was all in discussion. Then she moved, and I followed her. She led me to a dark planet. One of the problems was that Sir Han couldn't remember the actual shooting of Robert Kennedy. So he put him under hypnosis and had him recreate the night of the assassination. Now try to picture in your mind the scene. You're, you're in the kitchen there. You're standing in the corner. There are lots of people around, a lot of noise, and you see Kennedy coming. Now what do you see, sir? And Kennedy is coming towards you. Look at his face. He can't. What? He can't. He can't. He can't do what? He can't. He can't do what? He can't send the bomber. You're not going to let him, are you, sir? To me, it was obvious that he had been uh, programmed to kill Robert Kennedy and programmed to forget that he'd been programmed. If there had been some handlers, whether from the CIA or whoever, they had a pretty fit subject on their hands there in Sirhan Sirhan. There are just things that boggle the mind that, that should be looked into, you know, for the love of humanity. If all of this leads to where we suspect it's going to lead, we don't want it to ever happen again. And this is the most dangerous time that you can possibly live in, but that also makes it uh, the most interesting time. Camus said that he wouldn't exchange his time with any other time, just for that reason.